bunnies from me and shy bunny I, oh no i was gonna say put my crown on her look how cute so welcome to my dark academia vlog volume two on and yeah so obviously the main focus of this vlog are the dark academia vibes and i'm going to be finishing fable which i am absolutely loving i'm on page 150 absolutely cannot wait to finish this hoping to finish this this weekend i'm also planning to read some poetry i think i'm going to read yesterday i was the moon and this was actually sent to me by some really stunning subscribers that i met at my most recent meetup sarah and selen oh i forgot about this they also gave me some animal crossing amiibo cards oh i need to use them look at this gabby bunny girl boss yeah, so these are the plans. And I'm actually heading off soon to go to a book release event for Emma After. And it's really fun as well because there's also going to be a ghost tour. Thank you. So very excited for that. And you may have seen in the beginning, I started watching The Magicians on Netflix. And The Magicians show is based on the book, which I actually haven't read. But it's about Quentin who discovers this magical world while studying at this secret upstate New York school. And I actually watched like maybe the first 10 episodes a few years ago. And I remember really enjoying it. I can't remember why I didn't continue but i was thinking about watching something that has like the dark academia vibes and i was like oh yeah the magicians and then so i decided to start from the beginning and i'm excited it's definitely the vibe that i'm in and the magicians is actually not available on australian netflix so thankfully i have nordvpn so i can connect to a server in the united states and watch the magicians so very happy that nordvpn are sponsoring this video if you don't know a vpn is a virtual private network and it protects your data so hackers can't steal your passwords and other important information having a vpn is definitely important to protect yourself but also i love using a vpn to access more content so basically nordvpn have over 5600 servers in 59 countries so you can choose a server near you for better speeds or choose a server further away to access extra content which i do all the time so i'm able to watch the magicians by simply opening nordvpn it's super easy to use you can connect with one click or enable auto connect with zero click protection then i simply choose a server in the united states open up netflix and watch the magicians simple as that and i also really love nordvpn speed it has amazing speed it's actually the fastest VPN out there confirmed by speed tests. I can also watch on my laptop, my phone, my iPad because you can actually use NordVPN on up to six different devices. I've been using NordVPN for years now. I highly recommend them and you can get the exclusive deal by going to nordvpn.com slash Chloe. It's completely risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now I also just wanted to quickly talk about aesthetics in general because I've been obsessively watching Shan Spears videos. They make incredible videos on so many interesting topics and one of my favorite videos is a video called social media's obsession with aesthetics and curated identities obviously i love the dark academia aesthetic i love lots of different aesthetics but i hate when i feel like i need to stick to like one aesthetic and when people like lock me into one aesthetic and i know as humans we like to categorize things but every time i get a comment like how come you're not really into this aesthetic anymore or how come you're not really into this anymore like you used to be more this it really stresses me out and makes me feel so boxed in. And I know like these comments aren't said with the ill intent, but I just 
can't stand feeling like I have to be one thing only because I'm constantly changing. I'm into so many different things. At certain periods, I'll be like more into a certain vibe and then I'll be into a different vibe. Like that's just how I like to live my life. I don't like to be restricted or feel restricted. So I can gain inspiration from lots of different aesthetics, but yeah, definitely don't like to be labeled as one certain thing. I just enjoy so many different styles. And one of the comments on Chan's piece video, I have to talk about because I love it. This comment is from Zero. Aesthetics flatten the complexity of style and reduce people to a one dimensional archetype that lacks individuality. This desire to be categorized, I think, is very reflective of the influence of social media. The more identifiable you are, the easier you can be searched up, gain followers, and ultimately imitated. This is in reference to those who feel that they can't deviate from the beautiful cage they've locked themselves into. Absolutely love that comment. Anyway, I need to catch the train soon, so I'm going to bring yesterday was the moon just because Fables are thick boy, so don't think they will can fit my bag, but I can bring my little poetry book. And also I am in the mood for some stunning poetry. So very excited. Also it has some nice like illustrations. Oh, high school musical reference. Actually, let's just read the first one. Yesterday I was the moon, today just an eclipse. Something in me travels, some days it's to the dark, some days it's to the light. This is my outfit. So, little bun. Necklace from FNH Jewelry. Top from Cider. Corset thing from Black Milk. Skirt from a cute Korean clothing store in Melbourne, so I don't remember the name, apologies. And then I just have some knee high socks with these. Loafers from Princess Polly. <laughs> and then my bag is from Eco Susie. And then I have this cute little bear keychain that I got from Korea. Cadman's Cottage, which is apparently the most reported place in Australia for poltergeist sightings. This is like the building. We're in there, it's very dark in there, and it has felt something. Touch me! I also felt something on my leg, and I was like, oh, what's going on? But then Kaz said, I was like, hey, no, that's gotta be too much of a coincidence. Yeah. So I am back and it was a really stunning event. So basically we had the ghost tour first. So a ghost tour at the rocks. I learned a lot and I definitely felt some, you know, energy in some of the locations we went to. So it was very interesting. And then there was the book reading for Emma After, which was the book release. Oh, I didn't even read the author's note. So he signed my book. To Chloe, hope it haunts you, but nicely. 
Oh, exactly. Acknowledgement of country. I acknowledge the Australian Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples of this nation. And I'm actually really excited about this book. It's basically about the afterlife. So the main character, Emma, has died and she is in the afterlife. And it's like a really fun vibe. So the author actually read, I think, like a chapter from the book. And I was definitely engaged. And I was definitely like, okay, I definitely want to read this. Because it was like funny, fun and a unique take on, you know, ghosts and stuff. Because the author was saying how like a lot of ghost stories are just like oh like a woman shows up every now and then and then he's like hey but why <laughs> you know yeah it's all about what it's like to live as a ghost and how fun is this cover and it's like that really stunning like matte feel i also read up to page 95 of yesterday was the moon it's definitely the kind of poetry collection where i'm like some poems are really nice and some poems are just like okay like, that didn't really do anything for me and most poems are kind of just like oh you know nice so i'm definitely not like obsessed but it's like a three star vibe i think so there are definitely some nice lines for example in the end you two will grow into something entirely new so let them go but then there was this line that is what it's always been about and i read that in the grinch's voice that's what it's always been about and then i also love art doesn't ask to be perfect poetic precise it asks to exist to breathe to be just a reminder that you shouldn't strive for perfection in whatever you're creating. We are about to go to Color Scream and look at our matching boy. Oh my god, so cute! It is a reading day today. I just finished oh, the beds. I wonder what they're talking about. Anyway, I finished yesterday. I was the moon and definitely really loved some of the words. Like I said before, it's not like it didn't like completely hit me. Like I'm not like absolutely obsessed with it, but one of my favorites. I am growing flowers in the darkest part of my heart, for if light ever enters, it would know where to start. But yeah, this is just such a special book because it was gifted to me by two stunning people and their best friends. And like, every time I read what they wrote me in the beginning of the book, I literally just tear up because it's just... I can't even get into it right now, but <laughs> yeah, just really, really special. And I am also currently reading Babel, so I'm gonna read a lot of this today, hopefully. I just got up to chapter 10. Currently, we're just learning more about the world and how like the magic works and stuff, and it's just so interesting because if you don't know, it's all about like words, the history of words, translation, and I am obsessed. So I am just happy that I get to read this today, and yeah.
guys so today's the day where i'm gonna finally finish babel i'm on page 358 and it is like so intense right now there are so many credible discussions being happened my mind is going a million miles an hour like i just have so many thoughts and so many things i want to say i already know i'm going to want to reread this book so many times i can't even explain how much i'm loving this book like it's definitely living up to my high expectations anyway i need to finish it i need to finish it Okay, so I just finished Babel, and I am truly, truly, truly blown away. There's so much to say, honestly, and I probably won't say it all because there's too much to say, and also I am really exhausted right now, but it's absolutely a must read. Like, everyone can benefit from this. I think it's definitely one of those books that forces you to expand your perspective, question your pre-existing beliefs, and if you're a person of colour, I think it's a very cathartic reading experience. Basically this follows Robin Swift and he gets taken to Oxford University and he befriends Rami, Letty and Victoire. And Robin, Rami and Victoire are all people of colour and Letty is a white girl. So they all come from different backgrounds and you can really see how each character has different experiences because of the backgrounds they come from and especially Letty obviously has a lot of privilege being a white person in England, um, especially during this time. And she's very narrow in her perspective and she struggles to fully understand what it's like to be a person of colour and this book just so effectively illustrates the intersections of power and privilege and does it in such an articulate way, in such a genius way. Like it is phenomenal. It's truly one of the best books I've ever read. Like it is 100% a new favourite. Definitely something I recommend to everyone because like I said I feel like everyone can benefit from it. It's also a book about anti-colonialism. You also learn a lot. Obviously this is fiction but it's based on true events and there's just so much nuance. This is also a book about friendship. Just wow and that ending. I'm gonna be processing that for days or maybe even weeks or maybe even my whole life. Like <laughs> wow. Also I just want to quickly talk about the pronunciation because I got a few comments on my last video where I was talking about this saying it's pronounced Babel. That is the American pronunciation I believe and I'm not American so I'm saying Babel and also in the audiobook it's pronounced Babel. There's so many other things that I want to say but they're spoilery so if you want to hear like all my spoiler thoughts I have filmed a spoiler filled vlog for my Patreon because this is my Patreon buddy read book for this month so my Patreon's always linked below if you want to watch that but yeah like I can't emphasize enough like how incredible this book is. I already like want to reread it. I definitely will be rereading it at some point and I honestly think rereading it I'll just appreciate it even more. I need to read this quote. That's just what translation is I think. That's all speaking is. Listening to the other and trying to see past your own biases to glimpse what they're trying to say. Showing yourself to the world and hoping someone else understands. If I didn't mention the writing. Phenomenal. Like R.F. Kuang. I'm in love with you. <laughs> like truly one of the best authors out there in my opinion. So in conclusion, read this book, please and thank you. So that is the end of my Dark Academia Volume 2 vlog. Thank you so much once again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Don't forget you can go to nordvpn.com slash Chloe to get the exclusive NordVPN deal. If you're looking for more content from me, I have a Patreon where I upload extra content like extra vlogs, we do a monthly live show, we do a monthly buddy read, etc. That's always linked below. I have all my socials linked below including my Twitch which is twitch.tv slash Chloe underscore and that is where I stream games and just chatting. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all having a good day and night and I'll see you in my next one.